I'm Sarah Spencer with Vermont Chalky Paint and today I'm going to talk about Show Your Jugs. So what is Show Your Jugs? If you've stopped by my store you may have seen Wicked Wicker Woman wearing this apron in the window. Show Your Jugs is a program that we started because we wanted to give back from day one when we created Vermont Chalky Paint, a non-toxic decorative paint that's mine manufactured made in Vermont. Our paint is housed in these half pint and quart tea, uh, jugs that we repurpose into these tea lights. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to make this sweet little decorative tea light just in time for your Thanksgiving table. So if you like farmhouse, if you like uh, this sort of decor, this is a great way. It's a project you can do with your kids. It's super easy and it's a lot of fun. And a portion of the proceeds from our Show Your Jugs packs help the Cancer Patient Support Foundation uh, this month. And Cancer Awareness Month, we had out and about here in Essex Junction. We had some people stop by and make these. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it easily in your own home. We can ship it to you. It has everything you need inside. So the only other pro uh, products you're going to need outside of what you get in your Show Your Jugs kit, you're going to need a glue gun. So that's important. You're going to need some uh, twine, which you can get at Dollar Tree. You're going to need a bag of sand, and you're also going to need some double-sided tape, which you can also get at Dollar Tree, and you're going to need a pair of scissors. So everything else is inside the kit. Um, the lampshade you download off the internet, and you can have that printed at your local printers. Uh, my printer is Winiski Press. I love them dearly. And they printed this on vellum, which I really love the effect of how vellum is sort of translucent. Um, so I thought you guys might enjoy this little project. Okay, so here's how it works. So you can see what comes inside of each uh, Show Your Drugs kit. So when you open it up, you'll see a jug that you can paint. Now, some people ask me, do I need to paint this in order to do decoupage? You don't necessarily have to paint it. Yes, you can decoupage right on it. I like to put a coat of paint on, that's just me. Because sometimes you have um, projects that require white on the top. Let me show you this guy. Because I wanted to have I wanted to have this buffalo check on the bottom, so I painted the jug white, put the flower on top, and then I just did this buffalo check napkin on the bottom. So that's why it's kind of nice to be able to paint the jug um, if you decided to go ahead and, uh, and do it that way, but you don't have to. Okay, so you've got your jug. It comes with eight ounces of our wonderful State House white paint. It comes with our decoupage formula, which is phenomenal. You can use it outdoors and indoors. Um, it's our clear coat. It is a non-toxic substitute for polyurethane. It has polyway technology, which is a byproduct of cheese. How cool is that? It comes with two foam brushes. One is for your paint. The second is for your clear coat and your decoupage. It comes with two decorative napkins that we have for this month, which is our Maison Blanche, which is what we're going to be playing with today. And lastly, it comes with three. Let me just grab, sorry. It comes with three because you have three jugs. And it's always nice on a holiday table to decorate with threes and put them at different heights. So you could make two of these vases and one a tea light. You could make two of them tea lights. Just gives you a little more flexibility. And you can use these jugs when you finish with the paint. You can paint different projects with them. And when you're done, you can make them into tea lights. So nothing is wasted. That is the nice part about that. Okay. So now this is the hardest part of this whole project, which is um, how do I, just putting that there for now, um, how do I get to my napkin? So what you wanna do is you open this napkin up and I'm going to just rip it on the seam here. So you see this is 
this is the center. Actually, you know what? I'm going to rip it where these two irises meet. Okay? So I'm just going to rip it there. And what I'm looking for is to take the backing off the napkin. Okay? So super simple once you get the initial tear. That's the hardest part is getting that tear. All right? Great. Now, this is why this project is so wonderful to do for kids, is that even kids who can't handle scissors yet, they can rip stuff. <laughs> and you come up with something really beautiful. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do is I have this Maison Blanc, and I want that to be like a label on top, on, on the front of my jug. So this is always where I have kids start, and this is also where you can start so that you build your confidence up in doing this project. Okay, so I just rip around the edge on either side. Okay, and so I just have this tiny little piece. And now I'm just going to shake up my clear coat. You don't want to shake too big with this. Um, I'm just kidding. The button I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> okay, so when you're doing the decoupage, you don't want to shake too vigorously. Otherwise, you'll get bubbles in your project and you really don't want the bubbles, okay? So I'm just going to open this up. I love storing the paint and the decoupage in these easy pour, easy store jugs. Why? Several reasons. I don't spill as much. And number two, my foam brush goes right inside really easily. And that is a wonder. I love that. All right, so now I like to have my handle if I have one handle, let me just look at my other jug. I have one handle this way. I might want to have this one going this way so that if they're sitting on a table together, they'll look really nice. Okay? So now I'm going to dab where I want that to be decoupaged. Just a little bit of pouncing going on. And then I take my napkin and I just gently place it on the jug where I want it. Like so. And you can see I'm just touching it very lightly with my fingers and then I'm taking my plastic wrap and that's where you can really rub and really push it in. The reason being, if I do that with my fingers, the oils from my fingers will lift the napkin off or it can also cause more wrinkles in the napkin. So if you're decoupaging, you get less wrinkling when you use this particular technique especially when you're working on a round surface. Round surfaces are the most challenging to work with. So heck, if you can decoupage a jug, you can certainly decoupage a drawer front, no problem, after you finish with this one. <laughs> if you decided you wanted to paint this, you could certainly um, go ahead and, and paint this. Um, let me open that up. I got ahead of myself here. So again, give the paint, the paint you can shake pretty, pretty um, vigorously, um, but the decoupage I don't recommend shaking this vigorously. But with paint, it has a lot of the different um, tones in it. Again, it has the Polyway technology in it, which is a byproduct of cheese. It has um, totally non-toxic ingredients. It has calcium carbonate, which is mined out of middleberry, um, polyways from our cows. So, couldn't ask for a more Vermont product than this, right? Okay, and you just open this up. And take the seal off. So, I'm just going to take my foam brush, dip it in. And then uh, 
paint the back. Now I recommend kind of letting this, I do really light coats. You can see I don't get crazy here. Um, I just keep it really, really light. Do like maybe two, three coats tops. Um, and that's only if you're going to, you really want to have the white showing on the top. Some people just like to have the beige. Um, others want to have more of the antique white showing. So that's totally your preference. You let it completely dry and then you can start decoupaging. So this is an example of a jug that was um, painted. And so I'm just going to set this aside here. All right, so there you go. And let me just try to remember how I had the jugs. So yeah, that's how I want them. I want them kind of to be opposite each other with the handles so that if I put it on my holiday table, um, I know that they'll look kind so of nice. I got this hole here. I'm going to take my piece that I just cut out. This is hard to do on a camera like that. I may just have to look at it first and then show you there. Okay, so I've just put that patch there. I'm going to take my plastic wrap and again just start pressing on it there. And so so what I want to do now is I want to fill this with sand. And you're like, why do I want to fill it with sand? It's so that if you have these outdoors, especially if you're doing a wedding or something of that nature, they have some weight to them and they're not going to go and, and blow away on you. Okay, so I've got some good weight in there. The next thing I'm going to do is take my glue gun and, oh, before I do that, I want to tie some jute on this so I push the handle away from myself I get a good I don't know 18 inches of twine of jute you can get the jute at the Dollar Tree if you want to I take the twine away from myself I cross it I bring it back to myself and I tie it in a simple bow is also a good exercise for your kids to teach them how to tie bows. This is something you can do for a, a bridal shower, you're trying to get ready for your wedding, something as a gift. Okay, so I've got my twine tied on there. You can make the ribbon or the bow as big or as small as you would like. This makes it a little more countrified. Very sweet. Now I'm going to take my glue gun, put it on the top. Take my glass and put it right there. Press it down. There. Now it's ready to put your tea light inside. And I'm going to take some double sided tape, put it on either side of the lampshade. The reason being it will hold your lampshade in place. Now when you print your lampshade at your printers, you can print it on um, you can print it on a cardstock. I highly recommend that you print it on vellum. Uh, these are done in vellum. They're really translucent. Uh, so you can see through them. They're lightweight and they're really beautiful. All right? And so now I have my lamps all ready to go. So if I wanted to do something in my basket, 
I could have my tea light here. And then I could do a second one here. And maybe even a third one here with, or I might even put it over here. flowers seeing as it's Halloween we'll put a little pumpkin in there maybe I didn't even wish you happy Halloween maybe something simple like that there again thank you very much for joining me I'm Sarah Spencer with Vermont Chalky Paint I will put up uh, links to this kit at showyourjugs.com. They'll also be on vermontchalkypaint.com under Show Your Jugs. Thanks for joining me today. Happy Halloween and enjoy this beautiful day. It's gorgeous here in Vermont. Take care, bye.